So we're going to prove that if x, y is not divisible by 5, then x is not divisible by 5, and y is not divisible by 5. So let's look at the contrapositive of that. The contrapositive says not this, all right? So if not that, so if not x is <clears throat> not divisible by 5, and y is not divisible by 5. So if x is divisible by 5, or y is divisible by 5, because we're doing not, x is not divisible by 5, and y is not divisible by 5. So not that is x is divisible by 5, or y is divisible by 5. So if that, then x, y is divisible by 5. So we need to look at the two cases. Case 1, um, x is divisible by 5. Then x is equal to like 2p, where p, why 2p, 5p, goodness, I was thinking of even numbers, uh, x is equal to 5p, where p is an integer, all right, and then therefore xy equals 5p times y equals 5 times py, so therefore xy is divisible by 5. And what about case 2? And by the way, it's possible for both cases at the same time, but we just need to, we've already taken care of all the times when x is divisible by 5. Case 2, y is divisible by 5. Well, um, then y equals like 5q, where q is an integer. All right, so therefore xy equals x times your 5q, which is 5 times xq. All right, so if xy equals 5 times something, Therefore, xy is divisible by 5. All right. So I've shown those two cases, right? I've shown that x is divisible by 5 or y is divisible by 5. And it could both be at the same time, but I don't need to, to show that. Then xy is divisible by 5. So the contrapositive is true. So since the contrapositive is true, the original statement is true. Now the original statement was simply that if xy is not divisible by 5, i.e. if xy is not divisible by 5, say the number 12, say like 3, 4 is 12 or whatever, then um, x is not divisible by 5 and y is not divisible by 5. All right.